Welcome back. That's my line. I know, I said it. Felt a little weird. Yeah, I want to say it anyways, but I won't. <laughs> Today we're making another drink from one of our favorite Disney bars. Actually, they're I all... I feel like we always say that, right? We always say that. They're all our favorite. Another one of our Another favorite. one of our favorite mm -hmm. Disney bars. Nomad Lounge. Nomad Lounge. Mm -hmm. um, Animal Kingdom next to Tiffin's is the restaurant, right? Correct. Like a lot of Disney bars, they have a whole host of signature cocktails, or a lot of these cocktails could just be well-known cocktails and they give them their own names. Correct. But they have like High Tower Rocks, they have Leaping Lizard, they have Mustang Coffee, which I've never had, but it sounds interesting. Sounds amazing. But what are we making today? Today we're gonna make Jen's Tattoo. And we don't know whether we've had Jen's I Tattoo or not. I don't think that we have. We, I feel like we discuss this drink every time we go. But we because never get it. it sounds intriguing, but we don't get it because it seems like it's going to be too sweet for us. Have you ever had a Jen's Tattoo the Nomad Lounge? Let us know. Well, I was going to say the beauty of making it at home and not having the recipe is that I can just sort of make it to... Less sweet? Our taste. Oh, less sweet. Again, well, I don't know what their recipe okay, is. Okay, so I what's in a Jen's Tattoo? It's a vodka drink, obviously. It is a we vodka have some drink. Kettle one. So should I just make it as I'm talking about what's in it? Well, no, tell us everything that's in okay. it first. And then... So we got Kettle One Vodka, uh, Watermelon Syrup, which is this zero sugar, zero calorie skinny syrups I found online. So pretty just cool. A, just a watermelon it's syrup, not a liquor. essentially a flavor, right. You can add it, it says you can add it to lemonades, teas, smoothies, juices, cocktails. And We're is that because it, it said watermelon cocktail. syrup, or do you know whether the Jen's Tattoo, maybe they use watermelon liquor, or it liquor, said, liquor, you don't know? The ingredients said Kettle One Vodka, watermelon, hibiscus, lime juice. All right, so that's what hibiscus, that's a flower, you have We're flowers? We're going with hibiscus. We have a hibiscus flower extract. We're gonna use this very sparingly. I have a feeling this is super sweet. Maybe that's why it's known to be a well, sweet Well, this drink. is the watermelon sweet too. So yeah, we're gonna tread lightly. Okay, and I see you have limes, garnished with a lime. Garnished with a lime. They also garnish it with like a candied hibiscus flower. We don't happen we to don't have, have those any, on hand. So you don't we're have any candied hibiscus flowers? I don't. All right, so I a Jen's don't. Tattoo, vodka Jen's drink. Jen's Tattoo, well, that, here we go. Yeah. So we're gonna do two ounces of vodka. And you're making two, right? Well, no, this is just for one. Just for one, this okay. This is just for okay. one. So this yeah. is to make one. Right, so two ounces of the vodka. I'm gonna do an ounce of the watermelon. I can feel like it's really sweet. Um, I'm gonna do an ounce of lime juice. This one I'm gonna measure. And you said your lime juice is unsweetened, This right? is unsweetened lime juice, because I feel like the drink is gonna be so sweet that I needed something to cut the sweet. So we're going with unsweetened key lime juice. So this would be Karen's tattoo? Karen's tattoo, correct. Um, and then this hibiscus flower extract, it comes in this cool dropper bottle. I think I'll do like a half, like that much, like maybe 10 drops. Oh, it's, it's not a very pleasant smell. It's not, let's taste it. It's very dark. No, no, let's not taste it. Does it taste better than it smells? Oh, it tastes good. Here, put your finger out. Tastes good. Tastes good. Right? It's, it's a little tastes, sweet. Yeah, it tastes better than it than it smells. Okay, and then I'm just gonna top it off. I'm gonna eyeball it with some soda water. I don't know how much that was. Just dumped it in there. And now because this has soda in it we don't want to shake it obviously because it'd be a mess so no you don't have to step back so we're just going to pour it back and forth a couple times just to make sure it's blended and then we'll strain it over some fresh ice i to have some fresh ice right there it's pretty color it's a very light pink and then, I don't have the candied hibiscus flowers, but I do have lime, so we'll garnish it with a lime wheel. And that's it, our version of the Jen's Tattoo. If you can't go to the drinks, bring, you bring the, the drinks, drinks to, to you. you. Ready, you excited? I'm excited. Nomad Lounge, Jen's Tattoo. I have tattoo. another one right there, look at that. It's Cheers. drink magic. Ooh, right? <gasps> Cheers. 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 I like the way it looks.
Not as sweet as I thought it would be. Not, because... not very sweet, It's actually, which is great for us. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely get the watermelon. Mm -hmm. Maybe could have gone a little heavier on the hibiscus. I don't really taste, I don't know what that much, flavor is that I'm looking for. How much did you put in? I did like 10 drops of the hibiscus. I think maybe next time I would double that. But it's got a little bit of a complex flavor, so it's it's probably in there. You just mm -hmm. can't pick it out. And I guess I'm getting a little bit of the lime. Yeah, I get the lime at the end. Mm -hmm. And for those flavors, I think, I mean, it's very vodka, refreshing. vodka is probably the perfect spirit for this kind of drink because mm -hmm. it gives it a simple base. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it too. I like it too. I would like to know the difference between my made up recipe and the actual Nomad Lounge recipe. So we'll recipe. obviously have to get this. The next time we're back at the Nomad Lounge, we'll get the Jen's, Jen's tattoo. tattoo. Nice. Nomad Lounge. Not heavily themed, but themed travel and adventure. Mm -hmm. So I think the banner there says, welcome travelers to the Nomad Lounge, a place to sit and share stories of travel and adventure. And people believe, or people have said that the it's really about the Imagineers' travel um, when they were researching to do the to build the Animal Kingdom or to design the Animal Kingdom. That's really cool, and it makes sense. If you even as you look through the menu, it kind of there's little stories in there of the different areas that the drinks are supposed to have originated. And I think from. some of the small banners right. in there are like why I travel or how I travel or something. So it's travel based, and they say actually even more specifically, it's more about the travels of Joe Road. Is he Joe Rody. Joe Rody, mm -hmm. the Imagineer. And so, it's, of course, he was like the head designer for Animal right. Kingdom. And they say that it's almost about his travels when he did his research. And they point to the drink, the High Tower Rocks. Yes, you like that one. So, Tower of Terror, I believe Tokyo, has a theme. It's kind of a horror theme, they said. It's not Twilight Zone theme. Really? Or not anymore. It may have been originally, but the... Um, character there is this eccentric like ad adventurer explorer who like pillages like areas of the earth or the planet and he's like the bad guy and the character is Joe Rody like the, the picture of the character and the character's name is high and the character's name is Hightower so they're saying that that's a connection like to say reference gotcha. to him which I didn't know that he's worked himself into more than one attraction there's more than one attraction where he's either his image is there as a character or in some way or his handprints or in different attractions. But anyways, really? they say it's his travels because the drink is named High Tower. He's the High Tower character at that Tower of Terror. So it might be a stretch, but those are the things that people talk about. But basically theming is Imagineers traveling or travelers. And it's got a it's got a pretty nice vibe in there. Like oh, I said, we really not, like it in it's there. It's not like a crazy story like the Abracadab bar or something. No, but, but it's just a really nice sort of oasis kind of place to hide from the heat of the Animal Kingdom Park, which always seems like the hottest park. So located just after Pizza Fari. Correct. Just before, before you, you step into, into Pandora. Pandora. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Indoor seating, outdoor seating. Yep, it's kind of like a round shape inside, it seems like almost, or a hexagon or something. And all around the outside is um, like this low, comfy couch seating, which is super cool. There's like a porch area around the perimeter on the outside as well that has like low comfy couch seating and then the bar itself probably i don't know what do you think the bar itself seats like maybe, maybe 15 to 20, 20 I was gonna people say 20. at a regular true bar top and then i think in the very middle there's like a, a sort of family style high top oh and then there's the low big, couches and long, seats around the yep. outside of it along the windows so lots of just comfy seating in there which so i get the whole come in sit down talk you know have a conversation and, and a whole cool. host of really good signature cocktails. Yeah. One of them is the Gen Tattoo. Well, our version's pretty our good. Our version's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Pat myself on the back. 